everybody, welcome to an Epic My Name Toys. Oh my god, don't F the camera, Brad. I need a new tripod, Brad. I I've needed a new tripod for like a freaking year. Maybe I'll get one on Christmas. We'll see, Brad. Woo! Got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. It's stressing me the hell out. So first of all, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Hauls episode. We got an epic episode right here, man. I'm so excited to crack these two packages open. And when you guys see what's inside, you're going to understand it. But I apologize for the weird background. I'm finishing up MDT Live. I have one more match to do and a couple segments. And I think there's only going to be two matches on MDT Live simply due to time constraints. But it'll be worth it. It'll be damn worth it. But anyways, guys, on these two... Uh, packages here today. I'm excited, man. We got uh, some figures that I've been waiting to track down for a long ass time. We're gonna do some comparisons. We got surgery probably coming tomorrow because I got some epic swippages and swappages that I want to get through for you guys and I think it's gonna be excellent and I cannot effing wait for that. It's been a long time building. I've been waiting on this for a very long time so let's just shut the hell up and dive into it, will ya? So starting out with our first package, right? We have our first package right here and you guys know the only way to crack into our packages is with the good old and the good old return turn of the trusty knife. That's what you get. All right, so as I cut it open right there, all I have to do is just rip open this hole. And oh my God in heaven, Brad, is it true? Can it be? Not one, but two. Kyle O. Football Riley's. Kyle O'Reilly's. Is it real? Oh my God in heaven, Brad. We finally did it. How long did it take? It took way longer than everybody else, I can tell you that. The saga. The saga of War Games Kyle O'Reilly. We've been trying to track this figure down for just eternity, man. It has been a battle trying to get this ish done. But we finally got it. But we only, not only did we get one, but we got two of them. Now the reason we got two of them is because, for now, I mean, good God, man. Now that I have all these Kyle O'Reilly's, I have like, I did, uh, you add these together with our Chase variants that we already have, and there's like 650. What is that? Oh, look at that. I mean, is it the biggest deal? No, but Jesus Christ. I mean, the failures continue with the Kyle O'Reilly. War Games gear, guys, we got two of them right here. I'm going to turn one of these into Adam Cole in the War Games gear, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that on action figure surgery. So, we're going to be doing that on tomorrow's surgery more than likely. We'll have to see about that, see how all that ish goes down. But you had these Kyle Riley's up next to my Chase Variant versions. Let me grab those pieces of shit. Like, look at this. Three Chase Variant Kyle O'Reilly's up next to my regular versions. I And this isn't even counting the epic moments. I have an assortment of Kyle O'Reilly's now because you guys know that Ringside sent me the Chase Variant instead of the War Games when I wanted the War Games, right? And I ended up getting the Chase Variant. The one time I don't want the Chase Variant, they sent me the Chase Variant, okay? Not the biggest deal. I'm like, damn, have to wait a little bit longer, right? Then my friend John goes toy hunting. He goes, oh my god, bro, they got Elite 80 Kyle O'Reilly. I'm like, oh, dude, sick as hell. And he said, they have two of them. I'm like, oh my god, no freaking way. I'm thinking they got two of the War Games Kyle O'Reilly. I didn't, you know, check with him to be specific. I just thought, oh, two freaking Kyle O'Reilly's at the store? There's no damn way they got two Chase variants. So he picks up both of them. Both of them are Chase variant again. So now we have three black versions. And the other day I finally said, F it. I found a good deal on eBay. I purchased two of the Kyle O'Reilly's in the camo gear, and now you're mine, you sons of bitches. So yeah, we have the Kyle O'Reilly's now. We got the accessories and the t-shirts. Nobody gives a flip and flab and flop about the freaking rubber shirts, but these look great and they're gonna look great up next to the rest of our, our Undisputed Era. And I cannot believe I have three of those John Brown Kyle O'Reilly's in the, in the black chase bear. I mean, that is absurdity. But if you guys wanted to see the rest of them, we have Bobby Fish here that will match our Kyle O'Reilly, and then we have Rodri football strong, one of my favorites, and you can't really see his gear, but you guys get it. There's the camo gear there. So we are going to be making an Adam Cole out of this one remaining Kyle O'Reilly, and uh, that should be pretty football fun. We should be able to do that pretty easily. Again, I'll show you guys how to do that on action figure surgery to go along with some other things we're going to do on surgery. Oh my god, I almost vomited. We haven't vomited in a little bit here, but let's get this out of the way because we have an epic package from my boy Balor Figs UK, and I'm super excited to dive into that one. So we have this piece of ish, and then we have our other piece of ish. And I really don't even think we need the trusty football knife to cut this open, but we want to make him feel special. 
So we'll cut him open with the trusty knife and we'll just slice and dice this open right here and you guys will notice what we got in here. Not only did we get a Mattel, but we also grabbed ourselves an AEW Unrivaled Collection Cody Rhodes or Cody figure in this beautiful silver UK exclusive attire that came with the AEW basic ring. Look how beautiful this thing is. Oh my God in heaven. I know a lot of people are wondering like what this looks like up next to the Series 1 Cody. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick for you guys in case you guys were wondering what this looks like. Here they are up next to each other. This one has the improved skin tone. It has, you know, a better likeness. Uh, you know, the head scan's not as wonky. I feel like it's a little bit cleaner, to be honest with you. It looks really, really good. It's got the white weight belt. It's got the white wrist tape, silver tights with the blue and the red in the white, tying into the red and blue boots. And I know a lot of people want to see, like, what these look like, like, interchanged parts. I put the white boots over here, red boots over here. I don't know. I, I know people wanted to see that, but the one thing that I want to see, Brad, is do the little, you know, the AEW torso swap right here. So if we did the torso swap, and we popped Cody's torso off right here, and then we plant on the UK exclusive torso, and this is what AEW 1 will look like once we get the corrected skin tone, and look how damn good that looks right there. That's sick as hell. So now, look how simple that is to do a damn torso swap with these AEW figures. Man, I love these figures. I know we get you know, they're not perfect. They have their own issues, just like Mattel. And, you know, the distribution is definitely not that great sometimes. But uh, the the yeah, the articulation, first of all, is fantastic. And then the way you can just change torsos out is excellent. I can't wait to do surgery on those in the future. It'll be very, very simple. But showcasing those swaps and stuff will be sick. So there's what that looks like. You could switch over the belts, too, because the belt ties into this attire and the white belt ties into this attire. So that's pretty cool right there. And another thing is on the back of this belt, I noticed the other day that it says AEW on TNT, but it says TV. It says AEW on TV, and the TNT logo is all mixed up there, and it looks like a TV. I'm guessing that TNT did not grant them rights to use their logo, which is kind of odd because AEW airs on there, but I guess that's why we've never gotten, you know, USA logos on anything because maybe, you know, Mattel wasn't given permission there, but I'm going to put this right back where we got it. I want this torso to be over here, and I want, uh, if I had multiples, I'd do this swap on a lot of them, but since we don't have multiples, there's no point in doing all that. So I'm going to put this back to the original form, and we're going to put that right there, and then put this over here, man. I cannot wait to get my Series 2, man. I'm still waiting on my John Moxley, my MJF. My, I'm pretty sure I ordered the full set. I want to get reviews up for those for you guys, because we never got those, and so uh, as soon as I get those in, we will do full-fledged reviews on them, and I'll definitely do that for you guys, but I think that pretty much does it for this My Damn Hauls. Not the longest hauls ever, but I gotta go film because I am stressing the hell out, bro. Like, I'm stressed so damn bad. I don't feel like I'm gonna make it to the deadline. Like, I'm trying to get MDT live up for you guys, and I don't know if I'm gonna make it, and it is making my brain hurt. And I really wanna get it up, man. I've been going super duper hard on it, trying to get it up, and I don't know. It's just, it's just making me panic. But I'm gonna film my ass off a little bit bit tonight. I'm going to go ahead and film some tonight when I'm doing this video. And then in the morning, I plan on getting the hell up. Can you stand the hell up for a second? I plan on getting up and then filming as much as humanly possible. And I wanted to have the show edited by Christmas Eve. That way it will be ready to post because I want to be able to spend time with my family on Christmas Eve and not stress about the show. I want to be able to enjoy my time with my family and not lose my damn mind about a show or stay up all night and then, you know, feel like shit and all that good stuff. So, just wanted to be transparent with you guys about that, but before we get out of here guys, let's dive into the random shout out. It's going to go to Downward Spiral. He says USA Network, more darker content or else. WWE, oh okay. Randy Orton burns a man alive. Referring to how USA came out and they wanted more adult entertainment. They wanted more adult content, more darker imagery, violence, whatever the hell. And so they set the damn fiend on fire, but you know what? It made for a good visual. I enjoyed the match. I enjoyed the whole damn show, but a huge shout out to downward spiral for that because I thought that was very relevant and that makes a lot of sense and that's pretty much what the situation was like but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of my damn hauls down in the comment section below. What do you think about the Cody? Uh, actually we really didn't even look that much into it. We just saw the skin tone there and you guys can see. It's got the nice deco going around. It's got the silver and the red boots and everything so there you go. More of a more of a detailed view and I also apologize for the lighting because I've been switching back
back and forth filming my ass off on, on the show. And so I'm trying to move back lamps back and forth across the house and I'm loading up lamps and I'm loading up bull crap and I'm trying to flip back and forth and it's just, woo boy, about to lose my damn salad in this hoe. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Pray for me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. We got you now, you dumb son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Don't cross the line. Don't cross it. You cross the line. I've been beat.